Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, man. It's fact checker news, man. What's good? It's Marquis, aka Severe from Boston, aka Severely Yours, man. What's good, man? We got a couple subjects to speak upon, man. Usher will be the headline of the Super Bowl this year. Well, really, next year, right? Um, what do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. I think it's great for Usher. Usher is an entertainer, a performer. He dances, he sings, he writes original music, he writes for people. Uh, people write for him, too. So, I mean, you know. But uh, Usher is that performer. He's that entertainer. He's that guy. He's that Michael Jackson. He's the ever... He's our Michael Jackson. He's our, you know, he don't play instruments. Like I say, he's like our prince. He's, but he's like a great person to be selected for the Super Bowl. So I think it's a great selection. I think he's going to kill it. I think he's going to bring, you know, JD out. He's going to probably bring, I don't know, maybe he might bring the Brad out. He might bring, I don't know who he's going to bring out. Y'all let me know who you think, Chris, uh, who you think he should bring out. <clears throat> Uh, Usher, I don't know, Usher should bring out, who, who's down with Usher? I mean, JD, Brad, like, I'm trying to think of, like, who else is down with Usher? I'm trying to think of his crew. Uh, who you think he should bring out? What's his best songs? All the ladies know, the ladies, all the ladies know his best songs. Y'all, y'all think what hits, what songs should he do? Let me know in the comments, man. That's the first fact checker news that, uh, Usher will be headlining the Super Bowl, man. I'm, I'm excited, man, you know, <clears throat> Beyonce did it last year. It was dope. She was pregnant, but she couldn't really rock, rock out, and run around, and do stuff. But she, it was beautiful. It was beautifully done. Uh, but Usher, we want, we want entertainment, man. It's halftime show. It's a show. We want people to run around, do flips, <laughs> dive off stuff. We want, you know, we want them to dance. Uh, so shout out to Usher, man, for for getting that 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 selection. I believe Jay Z called him too. Jay Z was like. Oh, shit, what you doing, man? Super Bowl. Super Bowl, we're going to rock next year. And he said, yeah, so that was it. So shout out to Jay-Z, too, for being down with the NFL. Number two is uh, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne finally putting out an album again. He put out, what, The Funeral? A couple years back, I liked The Funeral. I liked the album. I, I, I did review the Lil Wayne album. Go check it out. Maybe I'll link it here. Dope, dope project by Lil Wayne last time. I think he's doing a mixtape first. This is not an album. I think he's doing a mixtape. And then he's doing an album. <clears throat> so we're getting a two for one. So we're getting like the back of the day. You see, this is see, this is why I'm excited, man. Back of the day, this is our time. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling my age, man. I'm in the, I'm, you know, I'm almost 50, you know. But <clears throat> I'm in the 40s. So all the 40-year-olds know, you know, that, you know, they did the mixtape first, man. And then they did the album. So... Even though, like, this mixtape's gonna be probably be like an album mode, and he's probably gonna get paid, you know, because it's like an album, he's gonna put it out like an album, I believe. But uh, I believe it's like the mixtape Wayne. So we're excited to get the mixtape Wayne. Who's not excited for the mixtape Wayne? Who likes mixtape Wayne over radio, uh, you know, classic hit Wayne? I don't know, whatever. Which, 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 which one you like him on, you know? Uh, you could do that with a lot of artists. You could do that with 50 Cent. You could do that with Lloyd Banks. You know, which one you like. You could do that with Juice Santana. You know, which one you like the mixtape, you know, Lloyd Banks or the song structure Lloyd Banks. You like the Lil Wayne mixtape, mixtape Lil Wayne or the or the song structure Lil Wayne. So that's uh, the fact check out of it too. The next thing is, uh, <clears throat> who do you think the hottest rap is right now? You know, speaking of Lil Wayne coming out, there's a lot of old school, and I want to say it was just a lot of veterans, a lot of veterans coming out with albums, and I appreciate it, they dope too, a lot of dope, LL, LL Cool J got an album, you know, Havoc still producing, got, yeah, not putting out albums, you got, uh, you know, Nas, the Nas run, I call it the Nas run, you got Ransom, you got 38 Special, you got, you got a lot of MCs, rappers that's been doing it for quite some time, that's still relevant, still putting out bars, still putting out classic albums, uh, you know, Lil Wayne's gonna be one of them. But who's the hottest rapper right now? Who you think the hottest rapper is right now, man? You know, people saying Ransom, you know, people saying Conway. Conway made it. Congratulations, Conway, for making BT. I think lyricist of the year. Hopefully he wins. Hopefully he does. Conway deserves that. 
They're saying Nas. Nas, the Nas run again. Nas is the best rapper right now. 38 Special with the bars. He's always coming up with these clever bars and punchlines, you know. Is it is it Shay Noor? Another person which punchlines, shout out to Shay Noor and, and storylines and whatever she 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 brings to the table. Stove God cooks. People are like that he's carrying a stove on stage, rapping about, you know, the drug game. And he's kind of similar to Pusha T. He never runs out of cocaine bars like you know, Stove God's dope. Like, who do you who do you think is the best MC right now? Best lyricist, best rapper right now. Whatever you, categories you want to put him in. If you want to do the best rapper, give me a best rapper. You want to give me a best lyricist, give me a best lyricist. You want to give me a best artist, whatever. However you want to break it down. But I, I you know, I just want. I'm just curious about who's the best rapper right now. Who's who's giving it to you? You know, with the lyrics, the flow. The, the the voice box you know everything mixed you know the the the, the you know the song structure you know the the ideas the the things that the, the subject matter who's what MCs are out there that's impressing you give me some give me a list of MCs rappers I should be checking out who are your favorite rappers of 2023 let me know 2023 favorite rappers who are they uh, speaking of rappers you know I have the THHC podcast. It stands for the Hip Hop Connoisseur Podcast. Uh, shout out to all the guests. I want to shout out to all the guests that's been on my show. And I'm going to say everybody's names. Let me fast because, uh, you know, I don't got a lot of time. I don't got a lot of time. Are you thinking about um, Dave Chappelle? I don't got a lot of time. But um, let's talk about all the guests, artists, rappers, singers, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, you know, entertainer, whatever they were and whatever they are and whatever they're going to be. Thanks for being on my show, this channel. I'm going to, you know, quote a couple of them real quick. Try Burrow. Uh, shout out Try Burrow. He was one of the first ones that, that blessed me on how to do podcasts and stuff like that. So shout out Try Burrow, Uncle Freezy and stuff like that. And uh, Chuck, <clears throat> Taj Malik, Jury Love, Bonnie Stone, Abel Mary, Nums, Fury Styles, Ransom, Riggs, The Butcher, Pat Miller, I Am God, Rain, Jamal Johnson, Man Terror from Boston, Man Terror, shut up, Man Terror, <clears throat> Ty Ferris, Trucks, Producer, Patty Honcho, Black Chidori, T The Truth, Phil V, Rome Mallory, A43, you know what I'm saying, Shorty, you know what I'm saying, with the lyrics, A43, he got a, yeah, I think he changed his name too, with, you know. Black Keys from Boston. Shout out to Black Keys, man. Uh, free Black Keys, man. Uh, MC Mills. Shout out to MC Mills. Uh, you know, back with Sweetie. Jules Clay. Uh, you know, Wordplay Clay. You know, Skip the Kid. Rakim Al-Jabbar. Z-Man. Lord Juco. Jamil Honesty. Uh, Crazy Fingers. JB. Echo. Shy Lito, Rico Sama, Daytona Chavez, Rim, shout out to Brooklyn, Shaw Mai, shout out to Shaw Mai, Shaw Mai is Conway's brother, real brother, actual, actual brother, uh, shout out to Shaw Mai, Thought Provoker, Breathless, shout out to Breathless, man, uh, Morning Run, Day, Andre Day, uh, King James, Joshua the Gift, Maine the Medicine, Jeremy Ford, producer. Jeremy Ford is dope. Jam Sauce, he's from Boston. Uh, up and coming rapper. You know, I was giving him a break. Shout out to Jam Sauce. Dr. Mind Bender, producer. Uh, you know, know it all. SP, shout out to SP, man. Um, just period, man, for, you know, just being a great friend, person, and, uh, you know, host, co host. Uh, Naps in Dreads. Akil Ali, Akil Ali, dope rapper, YNX716, uh, another dope rapper, Cash, rapper, producer, King NZ. Uh, I'm going to write all these names down in the description so y'all can see who's been on the show. Uh, you know, Jay, uh, Hershey, uh, Unruly, shout out to Unruly, New Villain, Vince, Vincent Price, Skell Beats. Jamal Casal, Falcon Outlaw, Daniel Son, Barama Bull, Barama Bull. That's a big episode. People, a lot of watch, people watching Barama Bull, dope producer. Lex Lux, shout out to Lex Lux. 
Finn, Finn, great producer. Billy Escobar from Boston, you know what I'm saying? What up, Vern? Shout out to What Up, Vern. And lyrics, man. So I had like 71, probably more people on my show, but I had at least 71 uh, artists or entertainers or somewhat skilled uh, people on my show on the THHT podcast. Thank you. That's all I just wanted to do real quick. I want to talk about three topics, then I want to thank people that's been on the show. I want to thank people that's going to be on the show in the future. The Hip Hop Connoisseur Podcast. Tune in. One love, man. Peace out, y'all. One.